Okay, question 12. Any sold phone cards during a part-time holiday job? For every phone card sold, he will receive 60 cents. For every 20 phone cards sold, he will receive an additional of $4.50. Part A, how much did he receive after selling 20 phone cards? Okay, so we're gonna find out like um, for the first 20 phone cards, Okay, if he's gonna receive 60 cents 0 0.6 times 20 will give me um, $12 Okay, apart from this $12, he's gonna receive an addition of um, $4.50 So altogether, he's gonna earn um, $16.50 Okay, this is for selling 20 phone cards so this is the answer for part a part b how many phone cards did eddie need to sell to receive okay, at least 150 dollars okay, so we know that 20 phone cards is uh 16 dollars and 50 cents this is um the phone cards for one group Okay, one group will be sixteen dollars fifty cents. So we're gonna first tr we're gonna try and find out how many groups are there. Sorry, I dropped my calculator. Eight hundred and fifty dollars divided by sixteen dollars fifty cents. That will give me Okay, 9.090 and so on. Okay, so we know that the nearest would be nine groups. Okay, so the next step the next step that uh, I'm gonna do is I will use nine times sixteen point five zero. Okay, it's gonna um, be $148.50. Okay, which means that he needs to um, he needs to earn another $150. Oh sorry, uh, $1.50. Okay, if you Remember, one phone card is um, 60 cents, right? Okay, so he will need to sell at least three phone cards would be $1.80. Okay, so he will need to sell at least three more phone cards to receive at least $150. So the total number of phone cards will be three plus another... Uh, Okay, 20 times 9. <clears throat> okay, because there are 9 groups. So it'll be 20 times 9 because uh, each group will have 20 and then I'm gonna plus another 3. Okay, 20 times 9 plus 3 will be 183. This will be the answer for this question. Part A is... um. Sixteen dollars fifty cents and one eight three. <clears throat> Question seventeen Mr. Sim sold some tennis rackets and badminton rackets for one thousand seven hundred and forty three dollars. Each racket costs uh, $273 and each badminton costs 3 over 7 as much as the tennis racket. 2 over 5 of the rackets sold were tennis rackets. Okay, so for part A, how much did each badminton racket cost? Okay, if the tennis racket is equals to $273, 
and the badminton racket cost 3 over 7 as much that means I need to find what is 3 over 7 of $273 okay okay that would be um $117 this is the answer for part A part B how many um, badminton rackets were sold Okay, so in this case, I'm going to do uh, the grouping method. I'm going to write the working here. Let's write down what is the ratio of the um, rackets is to 10. I'm um, sorry. What is the ratio of the tennis racket? Okay, let me read the last part first. Two fifths of the racket sold were tennis racket, which means that tennis racket is to badminton racket will be 2 is 2. Three. Okay, so we're gonna figure out one group is how much. Okay, let's treat one group as exactly two tennis racket and three badminton racket. Okay, so we have to use a uh, two times two seven three. Okay, plus three times one one seven. Okay, this will be equal to. 2 times this plus 3 times 117 $897 Okay, we're gonna find out how many groups are there by using 17043 divided by 897 17043 divided by 897 will be 19 groups Okay, so uh, how many badminton rackets were sold? So if you remember, in each group, there's three badminton rackets. So it will be 19 times 3. Okay, 57. So 57 badminton rackets were sold.